So we're gonna play a little game, and it's called If You Only Knew. Okay. I'm gonna ask you a question, and I'm gonna keep asking you some like rapid fire questions. Okay. Guilty pleasure. Uh, my soap operas. I watch CBS soap operas my whole life. My mom watches them with me. And uh, I actually wrote Kate McKinnon as my mom, Deanie, uh, talking about the soap operas, because she's really funny when she talks about them. Oh my god, did you watch it today? Oh my <laughs> god. You know, you know her baby's not dead. <laughs> All I know is they better tell people that her ba tell her that her baby's not dead, because I'm getting sick of it. She drops a couple F bombs. <laughs> Does she? Yeah. Uh, do you have a secret talent? Uh, one of my secret talents is that I can bleep myself. So, um, Adam, you know, thank you for asking me to be here, but I'm kind of insulted that I wasn't maybe the first choice because, you know, I was kind of like, I just think that sometimes you're just. <laughs> my trick <laughs> and my oh, other trick is I can do a fake sneeze that's very realistic can you show me yeah it's a little it's very pretty and first of all wait I love the, the like the intro <laughs> no, no, to the, I have outro. the intro. oh yeah. I'm loaded up yeah since yeah I was 13 yeah I know I know these are from like seven years old and I'm 56 um <laughs> you go with what uh, works. let me start you go with what works kid um th there's a little too much carpet in here because I feel maybe I can get a little Zyrtec or something um <laughs> that is incredibly Thanks. realistic. And I can put my and leg over And what a plug my for Zerta. Yeah, yeah. And I do the splits. <laughs> On the table. Uh, best compliment you've ever received? Best compliment. This, this one came to my mind, and it's a weird one, but one time a therapist said to me that you're not that important. <laughs> and I hated her for saying it, despised it, and it became like my mantra because I spent so many years wasted on worrying about what people think or what they will think or, you know, how it will affect something. And being gay also and being closeted is just, you're not that important, is that people are all living their lives in their own pods and you think that they're all in a meeting with your picture up and they're pointing at it yeah. and all rolling their eyes, <laughs> yeah. but that is not true. The laser pointer. Yeah. Just like, yeah. let's go through the graph of yeah. why. Let's, let's talk about how people have, dis how this person's disappointed us. Right, let's right. Let's all go through bullet points on that strangest job uh, I use uh, <laughs> I lost my job at Disney um, at oh no the, you were just talking about how much at, you loved it. I loved it but after about four three years I had topped out on my pay mm -hmm. and they wanted to bring in a couple new youngins and so they canned me very unexpectedly it was very heartbreaking and I ended up coming back and like subbing for them so I forgave them eventually but I was really mad and so they they were feeling bad about it. So they put me in the lobby of the Grand Floridian at a hotel at Disney to entertain because I do artwork and they wanted me to like do crafts and entertain um, the kids in the in the lobby while their parents are checking in. This is really depressing. <laughs> and so I would do all these crafts with them and they were not paying attention. They'd like grab all the stuff and steal my art supplies and all this. And then at the very end of those periods of time, like a half an hour at a time, I had a cordless mic that I would turn on and they would pipe in and I would be like, tale as old as time. <laughs> and I was like Mrs. Potts in, in uh, so you were Mrs. Potts in the yeah. lobby of yeah. the Floridian. Yes, it, but not Mrs. Potts. I was like a, a approximation a of her. I was like Mrs. Sugar Bowl. I was like Nana <laughs> yeah. Sugar Bowl. Yeah. So I was kind of dressed like weirdly of an era. Yeah. And You're a Betsy gray Sugar wig, Cube. Like, and I yeah. bought all my own art supplies that they stole. No. And then I had to sing in a cordless mic and no one was listening. <laughs> what would you say to your younger self? I would say, I just wrote an article um, about this online, uh, about um, when you grow up uh, with, uh, I call it um, uh, holding gravity. That's my new phrase for being uh, a heavier person, a big person, is when you grow up and you're young, a lot of times, especially girls, are told, like, you could be really cute. Like, you could be really a, a knockout if you put some time, or you could, and it's all about potential, and I would just say, 
being on the other side of that now and being through all that struggle and realizing how so much of it is just all false is that you already were, you know, whatever you think deep down in your bones you are, but then people tell you you're not and you're shattered, your original thought was what you are, is that you're a complete, a complete beautiful being. Already. Yes, already. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.